Hey everyone, Dennis Chang here. Welcome to this week's video where I won't really be teaching anything. I guess it's a continuation of what we talked about last week, which is accompaniment. But uh, instead, what we're going to do, we're going to watch some tunes that uh, I recorded with the Vavau Adler Quintet um, in the beginning of 2022. We recorded an album, and then we, after the studio session, we recorded a few songs for, for my YouTube channel for your viewing pleasure. So this album of Vava Adler is now available. It is called I Play With You. And uh, you'll find the links in the description box. It was an incredible experience for me to record this album with Vava. I'm very, very thankful that he invited me to be the second rhythm guitar player because the first rhythm guitar player is none other than the legendary Hono Winterstein. So to be able to record with Vava is already an incredible honor, but then also to be able to record alongside Hono is also an incredible honor. 
Vavo is not really aware of this, but he was one of my first mentors. And um, he doesn't remember telling me all this stuff, but some, I don't know, 15, 16 years ago, I remember he kind of sat me down and told me, gave me some advice on accompaniment, what it meant to be musical. Really small details, but things that I thought about um, for all, for many years until until this day, and I'll probably keep thinking about the little tips he gave me until the day I die. Um, things about uh, dynamics, sound, musicality, and all these things, um, which are very, very, very important. And then what can I say about Hono? I think what impresses me the most about Hono is his level of confidence when it comes to rhythm playing. He just knows what he wants to do. He knows where he wants the beats to be, and he'll just go for it. And when I was recording in the studio with uh, with Hono, we sat next to each other, and I, I definitely noticed how, the, how much he was a take charge kind of person. And then it reminded me of the time that I went on tour with Biré Legren some I guess, seven years ago. Wow seven years ago um, it was my first time playing with Birelli as a rhythm player and with Birelli there's no rehearsal you just show up to the gig and you 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 you're, you just have to be ready <laughs> you have to be ready for Birelli and I remember after the first gig Birelli kind of sat me down and told me that he needed me to be confident about the rhythm he needed me and keep in mind, by then I had a lot of ex many years of experience accompanying so many great players. But with Burel, it's just another, it's another, um, how do you say, it's another world. He told me he needed me to be confident because he relied on my confidence to be inspired in his improvisations, to take risks. And that's just something that I noticed when, when I was recording with Hono the way he just takes charge. Whether he's right or not, he just takes charge. And for example, you'll watch later a tune, um, Donna Lee, and uh, the vi I guess it was the violinist who counts it out. He counts out one, two, one, two, three, four, and Hono actually starts just a little bit early. He kind of smiles, but that's what I mean. Okay, he was quote unquote wrong in coming early, but his confidence is um, is really impressive, and of course we adjusted to the new the new tempo that way. Um, that's I guess that's what Birelli was talking about. This take charge kind of attitude, whether it's right or wrong, it doesn't matter as long as you you're confident and you you. Um, you, t you show everyone how much how confident you are of course ideally you shouldn't play wrong but if things happen they happen just assume it so there we go enjoy these uh, tunes and leave a comment like subscribe share etc
désastre. Super, on s'en fout.
Thank you.